All right, so this is for <clears throat> silence. I don't know much about this either, really. Do you? Uh, no. I haven't and watched either. I just know it's Martin Scorsese. Scorsese. Uh, Scorsese. And yeah. you said Andrew Garfield, isn't it? Andrew Garfield, Liam Neeson, uh, Adam, Driver. Adam Driver. Ooh, Adam Driver, huh? Kylo Ren. So, yeah. here we go. All right. Our Lord said to them, Go ye into the whole world and preach the gospel to every living creature. Seems like, like already, it seems like a different tone than Scorsese movies usually are. Did he direct this? Or is he just producing no, it's this? Movie. Ferrera is lost to us. He denounced God in public and surrendered the faith. That's not possible. Father Ferrera risked his life to spread our faith all over Japan. It seems to me that our mission here is more urgent than ever. We must go find Father Ferrera. This is in your hearts, then, both of you? Yes. Then I must trust God has put it down. The moment you set foot in that country, you step into high danger. Music in Scorsese movies is always so good. <laughs> Intense music. Yeah. Well, it's just not even that. Like it swells. Well, now, yeah, right? it swells at the right time, and then just everything. Mm -hmm. I was just gonna say, completely drops out at just the right time. <clears throat> the price for your glory is their suffering. It's too dangerous. We ask for this mission. Every, every, all, this, all this time, I'm like, how is he going to make an organized crime thing out of this? It's not just like it's never just like the cinematography in Scorsese movies. Like it's the color palette, it's the tone <clears throat> of the shots, it's yeah. the scenery, it's the the costuming, the clothing, everything that goes with what is quote visual. It's right. Usually when people say, "Oh man, his style is so visual," it's usually just talking about the cinematography. When you talk about Scorsese, you have to. It's everything that gets yeah. taken in through your eye holes. And with with that said, I think that trailer looks cool, but. I didn't really grab me. Like, I don't feel like I want to go see I, that. I See, I like that because, again, I, it's one of the things we talk about with trailers all the time. Like, it was a good, meaty trailer, yeah. but I still don't feel like I really know that, that's anything a, about that's it. kind you know of, yeah. I mean? When it was over, I'm like, I don't even know what this movie's about. I just know that it's got some actors I really like and it's directed by somebody I really like, so right. I'll probably go see it. Well, synopsis, because Rick pulled it up. So, in the 17th century, two Jesuit priests face violence and persecution when they travel to Japan to locate their mentor and propagate Christianity. Okay. That's supposed to come out in January. Okay, but when does Wahlberg show up and shoot Leo? <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> And shoot Leo in the head, wearing fucking booties on his shoes and gloves on his hands. No, Leo isn't even in this movie. Uh, no. Nope. Ooh, Sabu's in the movie, huh? <laughs> uh, what'd you think, Rick? Uh, looks interesting. Like, I couldn't really tell much from the trailer yeah. as well. Yeah. So the synopsis kind of helped. Uh, it's Scorsese, so it's kind of like, yeah. I mean, but the cool thing about that trailer and that synopsis, like, you feel like, you, even though you just read exactly what it's, just it's the, about. the concept of it, yeah. The trailer basically gave you exactly what's in the synopsis yeah. and nothing more. Like, yeah. I think if it was for the fact that it was, it's him, yeah. right. Scorsese, I probably wouldn't watch it. If it looked like that and sounded like that and wasn't Scorsese, I'd still be I'd be interested it. in it, but, but I don't think I'd like rush out to go see it. But yeah, like it's, the the way that dude directs, man, is insane. Yeah, he's one of like the few of the attention to detail and directions. Yeah. Um, and like I was saying, like the audio in his movies, the sound, it's not just music, just the sound in his movies. Yeah. It builds at the right points, it it completely yeah. drops out and there's nothingness at the right points 
And as I was saying that, it did that in the trailer, and I thought that was hilarious. What, what was it? Uh, Shutter Island was the one that definitely was heavy on visual and the sound, and uh, that movie uh, I thought was good on the yeah. sound as well. What's your um, favorite Scorsese movie, Bryce? We're going to do this since you did that with Denzel. <laughs> See, I'm going to have to look at a list. Defer to yeah. a list? Okay. So someone else go first. Do you like Boardwalk Empire? Right. It's not a movie, yes. though. And he only did the pilot. He and produced he the show. Otherwise the oh, producer. Produced. But he directed uh, I thought, the pilot. I thought he directed more than just the pilot. Um, what about you, Rick? Oh, God. I like The Aviator a lot. The Aviator is pretty good. That one was really good. Um, that one I saw really late. Like, I actually just saw that one probably about three years ago. Really? Um, okay. Yeah. yeah, it took me a while to see that one, too, but I definitely did catch that close, that one, close yeah, to the release. That one definitely had me. Um, haven't seen, uh, what was it? Uh, Gang from New York. I wanted to see that, but... I wanted I, to see that, too. Yeah, I just never did. Um, um, I yeah, love God. The Departed. I think yeah, that's that probably like the one I really love from him most. And that's based on a book, right? I think it's called Infernal Affairs is the book. Yeah. Or it's based on another and, and, and it was movie, based on another a book, property. And I think it was remade. Right. Uh, I think it was a Japanese movie. Right. The original movie is also called Infernal Affairs. Yeah. yeah. It made me want to read that book and go see that like original <laughs> version of the movie. Um, um, go, go, keep going up. Because I feel like I'm... Well, slowly. Because I feel like whatever list I was looking at was out of order. Mm-hmm. Um, you can go a little faster. Yeah, I like The Departed and I think Taxi Driver. Um, okay. Are the two that I would, are my go-tos. Like that, <clears throat> like Taxi Driver just came out. They did a re-showing in theaters. I missed it. A little disappointed. God, I forgot but... he did Cape Fear. That so, is so yeah. good. Okay, so to the surprise of probably no one... I have not seen that many of his fucking movies. Really? Honestly, like, I remember. I mean, what? In '91, I was I was very you know I was still a pretty little casino? kid. I don't think I've ever. I think my I remember my parents watching Casino. I don't know that I ever sat down and watched Casino. And then what you else is on here? No. And I never seen Cape Fear. And I've never seen Goodfellas. I can remember my I parents watching those movies. The what I have seen is The Wolf of Wall Street, and I've seen Shutter Island, and I actually totally forgot about Shutter Island. So I really have I, have I two to go really love of. the I mean it's it's his his three mains like Good, Goodfellas, Departed, and Casino, like those are Raging Bull, yeah, fucking amazing. Um, so I don't think it's fair for me to answer that question. I mean, I guess I mean Wolf of Wall Street was was good. Wolf of Wall Street was good. I still haven't good. seen that. And I think I remember liking Shutter Island, but it was just that like, did you see Shutter Island? I did. It was trippy and like there was a twist. It was kind of the, a twist. There was right? a twist towards the end. Cape like, Fear is really fucking good. And, and I know a lot of people really that, like yeah. it, but they never talk about it as being like one of his great movies. It's it is. It's really good. Because it's different. Shutter Island has that like pool of the bow and arrow type of story where it kind of slowly builds up to when you get to that end, you're like, ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Close enough, I think maybe just in like in like the surprise to like well I don't want to spoil it, but I'll just leave it like that. His movies are always like that, man, where like you get to a point where like the departed, you like think the departed, you, you think, everything oh, flips. They fucking yeah. got away with it. They got oh damn. <laughs> damn. That's just his storytelling. He's yeah. just fucking brilliant. And, um, and so it's not like he's doing anything out of the ordinary. He's he's doing a very basic style of storytelling the thing is he does it so fucking proficiently yeah because there's nothing crazy about you know swerving someone at the end like giving them one thing and then taking it away there's nothing novel or unique about that he just does it so well seamlessly and to where every time it happens you're like motherfucker you got me yeah